It is the most amazing place, this stage. The point where you are most vulnerable, where you are actually exposing who you are to people that you don't know. And maybe some of you have experienced that moment of fear, the moment where you forget words, where you think you just don't have everything prepared yet, where you maybe believe that, is it enough? Are the stories of your life that you want to share with the world enough? Will you be convincing? Will you be persuasive? Will you be able to stop thinking about everything that could potentially go wrong and just enjoy this moment? Stage fright is a huge problem for a lot of people. And it's actually that Uh, unwanted emotion that keeps us from really experiencing the best that life has to offer. It keeps us from experiencing being able to lead, being able to freely and purposely and courageously take a position in this world, step up and speak up about what we believe, about the change that you want to bring into the world. I've experienced stage fright a lot. I work with people who have it, but I also am, let's say, a person in recovery from stage fright. And I understand, looking back to my life, that there are a lot of opportunities that I have missed, because at that crucial moment in time, where I wanted to do something, and I had perhaps an opportunity to experience some sort of joy, some sort of talent, some sort of competence, something that I wanted to do, but I didn't do it. Have you ever stopped at an obstacle, stopped at something that you wanted to do, but you didn't do it because you, you thought, ah, I'm just not prepared yet? Have you ever? Yes? Why do we do that? You know, what I believe is that it's not important if you think that you're good enough or you're not good enough. What is important is that you show up for yourself, that you are the person who is cheering for you. Because when you give in to stage fright, if you let it define who you are, then you're actually your worst enemy. You're the, that guy, that girl, that person who didn't cast a vote for yourself. When there was election time, you said, oh no, I'm not going to vote for me. I think someone else is better fit. I think maybe someone else should take this stand. I think someone else should talk about this subject. I think someone else is better equipped more knowledgeable, more experienced. But it's not really important how much experience you have as a speaker. What's important is that you want to share that experience. I believe that sharing our stories, sharing our experiences, being able to just be here and talk freely about whatever it is that you want to share is for sure important to someone. Maybe not to a million people. But will you just believe that it's important enough for one? If it is important enough for one person, do you think it's important for you to share that story? It is. Because we are changing the world one by one. And the first person you need to change is you. Thank you. Thank you.